fixed bed adsorbers packed with zeolites, MOFs, activated carbon, and other adsorbents have potential application in a wide variety of mixture separations as uh, energy efficient alternatives to uh, classical separation technologies such as uh, distillation, absorption, and extraction. Such devices are operated in a uh, transient mode consisting of adsorption and desorption cycles in uh, PSA technologies. The focus of my presentation today is on the mathematical modeling of transient breakthroughs of uh, mixtures in fixed bed adsorbers. For background information, you may consult the uh, classic textbook written by Ruthwan, Farooq, and Knabel, Pressure Swing Adsorption, published in 1994. The material I'm going to present is largely from my own paper published in 2020 in ACS Omega. Watch also a more complete video presentation titled Transient Breakthrough Simulations and also another one on screening of MOFs for mixture separations. Both these videos are available on my uh, YouTube channel. The salient features of the model for performing transient breakthrough simulations are described in this slide. We consider a bed of length L. Z is the distance along the bed, which is packed with uh, um, adsorbent, say zeolite, activated carbon, or a metal organic framework with a mass M sub ADS. The bed voidage is epsilon. The uh, gaseous mixture enters at a superficial gas velocity of U. Q sub zero is the volumetric flow rate at the inlet, say in uh, units of liters per second. And um, the interstitial gas velocity inside the bed is uh, the superficial gas velocity divided by the bed voidage, which is V. In uh, setting up the model for transient breakthroughs, we assume a plug flow of gas Assume, uh, assuming negligible axial or radial dispersion. The gas phase concentrations vary with Z and time T. And at any Z T, the adsorbate loadings QI, to, say in units of moles per kilogram, uh, within the crystallites vary along the radius and each crystallite of uh, MOF or zeolite is surrounded by a gaseous mixture and uh, at the surface of the crystallite between um, the uh, gas mixture is in thermodynamic equilibrium with uh, the, uh, the adsorbent. The mixture adsorption equilibrium is determined in the simulations using the ideal adsorbed solution theory. The molar concentration CI of uh, each component in the gaseous mixture at time t in position z is described by this partial differential equation. The uh, term here, q bar, is the, uh, is the average loading within the crystal determined by integrating over the uh, volume of the crystal. The uh, adsorber bed is uh, normally uh, divided into 100 slices and uh, further details of the uh, Numerical techniques used to solve the set of uh, partial differential equations are provided in this uh, website.
consider the transient uptake of the gaseous component into the uh, crystallites at position Z in the fixed bed adsorber. The uh, transient uptake of each of the components is described by this partial differential equation, where Q sub i represents the molar loading at uh, the radial position R, and Ni is the flux of component I. The uh, flux of each of these components is related to the uh, gradients of the chemical potential by the Maxwell-Stefan diffusion equations. The Maxwell-Stefan diffusion equations recognize two types of diffusibilities. D sub i represents molecule wall interactions, and D sub ij quantify the correlations in molecular jumps for the ij pair in the adsorbed phase. For solving the set of uh, partial differential equations, we may apply two different discretization strategies. Um, the first one is to uh, divide the crystallite into equidistant radial slices. The second strategy is to divide the spherical crystallite into equivolume slices. The equivolume slices strategy is more efficient because the steeper gradients in the molar loadings occur near the surface of the particle, whereas towards the center of the particle, the gradients in the molar loadings are shallower. In our transient breakthrough simulations, we find that uh, typically using 20 to 100 radial slices is sufficient to obtain good accuracy in the numerical calculations.